Good morning. It's Sunday in the shop. It's a beautiful day outside and I realize I have a lot of projects going on and I thought today would be a great day to do a simple shop project. You know, I started going back through all of my old videos the other day and I realized that I never completed my cabinet. This cabinet is basically where I'm storing my sanding equipment, my music, and my nailers, you know, so everything's relative. And the bottom does have stuff in it that I use, but not stuff I use as much. It's more storage than anything. But I realized that I never put doors on it or drawers. So that's today's video. Stick around for the build. All right, what I'm working with here is reclaimed doors. Um, they're all, you know, we got splits in them. Uh, there again, this is this is shop project stuff, but it's it's uh, gonna serve the purpose. So reclaimed all the way, baby. All right, the openings that I'm working with are 12 inches by 21 inches, and the hinges that I'm working with have a half inch overlay. So essentially, I need to make my doors 13 inches by 22 inches, and that'll give me a half inch overlay around the entire door, so everything is covered. As far as hinges go, I just decided to come in uh, an inch and five eighths. I kept it the same as my other one down there, just an inch and five eighths, no real rhyme or reason, just that it clears the clears the uh, the styles on the the actual cabinet. But an inch and five eighths, and you draw little circles and you drill them out and you screw them in. Not rocket science, but figured I'd show it anyway. Alright, there's two down. Got some little pads to put in. I wanted to show just, you know, a little little tip that I always did. See this little pencil mark right here? When you get your first door set to where you want it, you put your next door in with the hinges folded up and you hold it and you take your pencil and you mark the top of the hinge. So that way you know that these two areas here are always going to line up level. And then you open it up and if you can see you can still see your little mark. So you line that back up and drive your screws. And then you end up with level doors every time. Just a little shop trip. All right, nothing too exciting there. I basically just cut some wood to size, rounded the edges over, added some hinges and the little, the little uh, stoppers in the corners to make them shut a little nicer. So that really cleaned that up. Next will be the drawers and you know, I did that one before, you know, it really kind of ties everything in and makes it look nice. So the next video will be the drawers. Thanks for watching.